Would you say that an accounting is a relatively flexible degree? So what I mean by that is, let's say, you know, an 18 year old who's about to go to college thinks they want to go into accounting because they want to become a controller, for instance. So that's their goal. They want to become a controller. And then a few, de- you know, a few years down the line, they change their mind, right? They, they, they work a little bit and they're like, okay, I don't want to be a controller anymore. Would it be relatively easy for them to go in a different direction? Yeah. Yeah. And that's a great question. So, um, the flexibility that exists within accounting, uh, it's, it's there, but it's the limited flexibility, uh, to the realm of finance, right? Um, so what I've seen, you know, the three major buckets, uh, I'd say in accounting is either taking sort of the controllership route. Um, if you realize that that's not really what you want to do, um, and you realize you want to do more of the strategic finance, you know, more of like, you know, say, you know, planning out the future, the, the financial future of the company. So that's more, that's more on the sort of the FP&A or financial planning and analysis. So that's sort of the second bucket that you can easily transition to from a controller to FP&A or financial planning and analysis. And then the third bucket is going to be now what's becoming a sort of, you know, uh, an extremely lucrative and hot market which is financial systems. So uh, this is like we talked about earlier, this is someone who can combine the know-how of you know, programming, the different, the various uh, financial platforms and software, and how to tie this all together and make systems talk to each other and uh, make things more efficient, uh, less prone to error um, and faster. And so, yeah, so the flexibility exists in transitioning between these th- three major buckets, controllership or the accounting, um, and then you have the strategic finance or the FP&A, and then you have the financial systems. This are the three buckets of work. And then the other flexibility that exists, and I've had colleagues in the past go to work for the government. Um, so, you know, for example, there is a you know, popular program with the FBI in working as a special agent in, in the accounting field, right? So this is one of a forensic, forensic accounting you're, you know, investigating, you know, corruption and government officials. A lot of times um, you're overseas and it's, it's, this is very glamorous and it's a lot of people, you know, pursue it. Um, it, You need to have a certain requirement in terms of age, in terms of um, you have to go through some, uh, I think, physical uh, uh, test to get through it. Uh, The other thing that you can do as well is work for the UN. So, you know, I've had a colleague, uh, go from a controller to working as a treasurer for the UN. So there's a lot of positions open open up with the UN. More difficult to get into than private industry for sure, um, but the flexibility is there. So I'd say there's a lot of flexibility within the realm of finance to move between you know accounting and, and finance positions. Hey guys, Shane from the future here. I really quickly wanted to mention, because for some reason I forgot to in the video, Bill has some phenomenal resources for anybody who wants to become an accountant. And I'm gonna include those at the top of the description down below. So definitely check those out. Got it. So would you say that maybe compared to other degrees or other types of careers, that, uh, you know, an accounting degree would be one of the more flexible out of all of them? Or, or would you not say that? Um, you know, like to objectively say that, um, you know, because I've only had the one career, right, in accounting. Um, yeah, that, that can be kind of difficult to, yeah. To yeah, say. but I guess, I guess from, from judging from, you know, looking at, because I have friends who are engineers, doctors in, in, different, um, in different walks of life, different, you know, different kind of career types. Um, and the flexibility that I've, that I've seen in my career has been great enough to say that it's been higher than even what they do. Um, you know, if you're a doctor, your choices are either working in a hospital as a doctor or, you know, having a practice. Um, mm-hmm. You could go work for a private company in research. Um, so, you know, you can tell here that there's flexibility in both in accounting and also in all of these other fields is what you make of it. Um, you know, plus, and this is really important, what other skills can you combine with this uh, to become something else? So, you know, you know, take accounting or finance and add communication skills, someone who's a great communicator, right? And you can easily become like a financial motivational, you know, motivation person. Um, mm-hmm. So, or a financial coach. Uh, so, uh, the ability to be flexible exists. It's just what you can add to to it and combine combines another skill set with finance or accounting and make and you know reinvent yourself as something else 
you know, that exists. Um, so yeah, there's, I, I would say there's great flexibility compared to like other careers. Got it. And then what type of, I know this, is, this can be a pretty difficult one, but what type of person or personality or, you know, natural traits uh, do you think would be good uh, for someone that goes into accounting? Yeah, that's a good question. So, um, you know, by definition, like just from my my own experience working in accounting, um, you know, if you're in sort of personality type, uh, your personality type is an introvert and sort of, you know, um, thrive more in an environment where you're dealing with a smaller group of people, um, accounting is, is, is very well suited for, for you. Um, if you are going to be someone uh, who, you know, does really well with working with, you know, talking to people all day, um, you actually are happier when you talk to other people all day, um, then accounting might not be the right career path for you. Um, so the one area of, you know, in between or a gray area here is if you get into accounting as a mean of getting into strategic finance. When you work in strategic finance, you need to be sort of the extrovert type uh, who is going to be talking to everyone from sales engineers, you know, around the company, um, pretty much every function around the company you need to be uh, communicating with as a finance or strategic finance person. Um, so if you're, if your personality type is an introvert, I think accounting is going to be very well suited for you um, versus extrovert for that. I think, you know, more strategic finance uh, role will be much more uh, well suited. So for someone who is maybe on the fence between, you know, finance, accounting, some of the other business degrees, or maybe even someone who doesn't know if they want to do a business degree at all, they're just looking, you know, around at different degrees. Um, what would you give, um, what would be your best advice for someone, uh, to, for a viewer to find out if accounting would be a good career path or getting an accounting degree would be a good degree for them to get? Yeah, good, great question. So I think that, um, you know, one of the steps you can take is um, when you, if you're in college and you're still kind of testing the waters and you're trying to look around and see what you should be doing, um, you know, taking an accounting, accounting 101 class is a good way to kind of see, uh, you know, you're going to be stuck studying this for the next three years, right? So like you, you need to like it. Um, so uh, taking, you know, an accounting 101 course is, is really good. Uh, the second thing you should be doing is um, doing your own research in terms of talking to people who are accountants um, and quite honestly doing what you're doing now if you're watching this video and kind of like seeing what it looks like to be sitting on the other side of the fence once you've kind of, you know, mid-career, you've put in, you know, a good number of hours and years learning. What does it feel now? You know, are you happy with the choice? Excuse me. So this is the kind of thing you should be doing and exploring your own interests. Take a, take a good class in accounting. Um, funny because uh, for me, I didn't really want to major in accounting necessarily, but when I took accounting 101, that professor was just an amazing guy. Um, so, it, you know, it's interesting what are the motivations, right? Like the guy used to speak so highly of his own, you know, private practice as, as a CPA and how much fun he has with it um, that he kind of convinced me to, to get into it. So, you know, I'd say, you know, taking a class and speaking to people is really important in kind of discovering in general what you want to do. Um, I just from personal experience, I, I enjoyed accounting in terms of, you know, studying it and working in it. Um, it's been rewarding to be someone who can, you know, open up the 10K of a public company and like really just know, you know, where to go and what to look for. Um, so, so yeah, this has been my experience and I, you know, advise everyone to kind of like do, you know, watch, you know, watch interviews, uh, you know, videos, try to get as much exposure to what it, it is really like to work as an accountant. There's uh, even like things that you can see online on like the day in the life. I think the day in the life is really important to kind of measure, you know, if you can see yourself doing this for a career. Um, so yeah, that's, that's what I advise people to do. So let's say that uh, someone was looking into a very specific position, not necessarily, you know, you specifically, but let's say they were potentially thinking about becoming a controller, setting that goal for themselves. Uh, how would they go about getting in contact with a controller in such a way where they could maybe ask them a few questions, pick their brain to see if it's a good career path for them? You know, with LinkedIn, has been a good like a good place for that uh, where you know sort of at the 
early on in my career, um, you know, people are just more willing to talk to you than you think. Um, I think this is kind of a misconception that you think that, you know, no one has the time, uh, which is true to some extent. However, you'll be surprised, um, you know, ask and you shall receive, like ask for the advice, uh, reach out and ask. Um, so LinkedIn is a great resource on like reaching out to people who, um, you know, don't necessarily has to be a controller, but it could be someone who's an accounting manager or a senior manager, uh, director, um, to give you some flavor, you know, especially if you wanted to get uh, specific, like if you, for example, are, you know, contemplating whether you should get a position as, you know, a billing analyst, um, you know, getting, getting in touch with someone who is a billing manager or someone who's been doing it for a little while, um, can be helpful. And just knowing, you know, has this been, has, did this really work out for you? Did you learn from it and, you know, progress your career in the way that you thought you would? Um, so yeah, I think it's, um, it's really, uh, uh you know, a hidden, uh, treasure to kind of go out there and look for, for these people to talk to. Um, don't be discouraged if you reach out to 10 people for only one person to get back to you. This is just the nature of things. People don't read their, you know, messages or inbox that often, um, sometimes you just not, you don't have the time for it, but you know, asking you should receive, just like ask the question, reach out, um, and you know, you'll, you'll get some answers. Would you recommend maybe getting an opinion from several different people just so you can kind of get an idea because sometimes you might ask one person and it's like, they're super passionate about the career. You ask another person, they're not, not so happy about it. Um, so it's probably a good idea to get a, an opinion from several different people if possible. Yes, absolutely. Uh, you know, I'll tell you like I, you know, I'm someone who's, uh, you know, biased because I really love what I do. Um, so I'll tell you that it's, it's fun. It's rewarding. It's awesome. I'll tell you all these things. You could talk to someone else, uh, who's having, you know, I've seen people who had like a mid career, you know, crisis where they want to, you know, get out of accounting and do other things because they found it to be boring. Um, and so, yeah, getting some different perspectives. Um, yeah, that's really important. I think. Is there anything else that I didn't go over any questions I didn't ask that you think are, you know, might be pretty important for someone who's potentially uh, looking to get an accounting degree or become an accountant? Um, you know, I guess like the, the one thing I'll add is um, the benefit of working in accounting is knowing the sort of the ins and outs of the numbers that go into the business. Um, so the, the funny thing about that is like when you go to a, a company, you want to talk to someone who knows everything that's going on, um, you're likely to be, you know, looking at an accountant, um, you know, who, he's someone who's going to know, you know, sales, expenditure, uh, cash flow, um, financing, raising finance, uh, financing rounds or raising funds, um, and all of these things, investor relations. Um, and so c compare that to someone who works in, um, you know, whether it's the R and D or en engineering department, uh, or in sales. Uh, most likely they'll know sort of like their realm of what they do. They'll be really good at it. Um, however, uh, someone who can tie everything together for you is going to be someone who's working in accounting, uh, most likely. And so this is the one thing that sort of, uh, people don't think about too much. Um, and it's important, right? Like when you know the mechanics of everything that goes on in a company, it makes you much more rounded, not only in your career, but also as you know, when it comes to your investments, if you're like investing in the market, um, you know, knowing, you know, looking at the, the income statement and figuring out where the potential areas of, of, of issues are is really important. And so uh, that's one of the things that uh, I, you know, I'll say has been like a rewarding sort of attribute to working in accounting in general.